You know what kind of tree that is? What? This tree right here? It's a deadness tree. No, it's not dead. It's there, it's kind of dormant at the bottom, but it still has green boughs at the top. That's an eastern red cedar. Oh. So it's supposed to look like that? And the the bark is really good for tinder. You can scrape this bark off of here with the back of a knife. Goodness, that's loud. And it's really good for tinder. But see see that see that red that's eastern red cedar smell that I can't smell very well here get closer that smells good that's what um, if you've ever smelled a cedar chest or a trunk cedar trunk like at Memaw's house yeah um, a lot of old chests and trunks were made out of red cedar and that's that that's that smell I think I either hear the trees or something moving. Try the trees. Okay, go ahead. You know what kind of tree this is? A very smooth looking tree. This is a beech. It's a beech tree. B E E C H. You're still recording. I know. Okay. So this is a beech tree. You can usually tell these trees by the bark. Being is, so smooth? Well, it is kind of smooth, but you see those mouse dots? These like mouse gray dots like this? It's kind of speckled. That's beech. And then the leaves. See the leaves? Look like this. You think there's anything in there? What? No. Crazy. So that's a pretty old beech tree. If you find a younger beech tree, it looks even more mottled. Like, uh, whatever it's called. That is a beach. Yes, you are Watch correct. <laughs> this is a beach tree. See, it's got the, the modeling spots, the smooth bark, and then the leaves look like this, ribbed. That's a beach tree. because of that. I, I call it as a stop. Okay, go ahead. Walk up to it with your hiking stick. Okay. It's like a spider web this way. I okay. mostly cut all the spider webs. So what are we going to do about this tree yeah. that's down here? See, I just... Step over it and come around to this side with your axe or with your hatchet. This side? Right here. How do I take so, this cover thing? I'll show you in a minute. It's not gonna take much to get through this. It isn't? No, but when you when you chop with a hatchet, you wanna hit at an angle this way, angle this way, angle this way. So you don't wanna hit it straight, you wanna hit it with right. an angle? Here. I'll show you one time real quick. Chop this way, then this way. Chop this way, then this way. It's like orange on the inside. All right, yeah. now give. Okay. Can so. You... Yeah, so it's orange. You chop this way, then this way, until you go all the way through it. So give me my cover back. How do I take off mine? Well, you calm down. This okay. cover is a snap right here. Okay, cool. so hold this, and you're going to chop in just where I did. So you're going to chop here, here, 
here, here. Okay. What and happened if I going. were to like, if I hit it in the middle? Keep what going would happen? back and forth. Okay. Wait till I'm out of the way, and you stay right up on it and chop straight down. And yeah, at an angle, and just like that. Back up and let's see what we got. So you're pretty That's close. Pretty I think maybe you need to do a little bit over here because I think this is this is pretty much through. I actually you're all the way through right there. See, look at that. I see. Uh, not the smartest thing to do while carrying an axe. All right. You think? Yeah. So I just want you to stay on that side and not chop my finger off. Let's stop swinging that around. And I want you to chop right here, okay? But stay on where I am? Yes. It's going to be hard. Uh, I'm taller than you. You can come around to this side. That's fine. Slide to the side, back up, down it, yeah, right there, and try that. Mm, I still don't like where your leg is. No, that leg's not good either. Just keep them both right there, yeah. Yeah, that's much better. But yeah, chop straight down into it. That's where you need to chop.